While the Cancun Underwater Museum isn't technically a building, it is one of the most fascinating establishments currently underwater, so let's give it some credit. Built as the world's first museum without walls, it's home to over 400 sculptures, arrangements and displays which are all stored on the ocean bed, which doesn't seem like a safe place to keep things. It's also made entirely out of pH neutral concrete and materials that are made with stuff so none of the sculptures will ever decay. The Atlantica project is the brainchild of Dennis Chamberland, who is a current and long-term NASA engineer. In short, it will be an under-the-sea research facility slash apartment complex, allowing for as many as 100 people to live there at one time. If they Bioshock, this won't end well. And while this is just a concept, Chamberland has already created a two-person habitat on the ocean bed and seems serious about making Atlantica a reality in the near future. Jules Undersea Lodge started off as the La Chalupa Research Laboratory, but for the past 30 years it's served as an underwater lodge. It's rather small, but it's been housing divers and snorkelers for almost three decades, and is still open for public use for this very day. For just a meagre sum of $10 million, come on, don't be tight, you can have your very own fully underwater house. Each house would be two stories, with two bedrooms and a dining room, occupying 600 meters of space. Interested buyers can now contact the company US Submarine Structures and sign up to a waiting list. I mean, who wouldn't want a H2OM? H2O home. I'm so sorry. In 2001, a team of oceanographers found what they believe to be an ancient city located underwater, just off the western coast of India in the Gulf of Cambay. Several objects and samples have been carbon dated and appear to be over 9,000 years old, which is very old. While many aim to build underwater cities and while Atlantis is still just a myth, for now, it turns out that there is a real sunken city in the world. The Red Sea Star in Israel was once a restaurant, bar and observatory. Customers would access the building via a 230-foot bridge, followed by a flight of stairs. The restaurant didn't prove popular though, so the owners turned it into the world's first underwater strip club. Typical. Unsurprisingly, that didn't actually prove to be a big hit either, which is why the Red Sea Star is now abandoned. Construction began on the Water Discus Hotel in 2013, and it promises to be the most stunning underwater structure ever made to date. The disc-based structure calls for a design that spirals downwards towards the seabed and with an elevator shaft that travels upwards. Apparently the hotel will be able to completely rotate and shift position, and the discs can even be used as a flotation device in case of flooding. So yeah, I'm in, let's go and stay in this hotel. The Ifa Undersea Restaurant is an eatery located 16 feet deep in the water just off the coast of Rangali Island. The building offers a 270 degree view, which makes dining at the Ithar like eating in a fish tank. Gotta say, not seeing the appeal. While many underwater projects never become a reality, Ithar has been open since 2005 and has been incredibly successful ever since then. Sub 6 is an underwater resort located in the Maldives. Sub 6 also offers a line of aquatic lunches, five star hotel rooms, and it has a spa and even plays host to wedding ceremonies and receptions. Over the last century, there have been several attempts at making underwater research facilities. Why? Because it's cool! But to this day, only one fully functioning one still remains. In recent years, the staff were let go, and plans to sell the Aquarius Reef base were put into motion, but Florida International University have since preserved the facility, which is now back in use as the deepest underwater facility in existence. I can't wait till they find some exciting new squids!